Hello everyone. I just wanted to do a really quick video and just to say I haven't forgot about anybody. <laughs> I just have not had time to do anything you guys. I've been so busy. We are actively house hunting. We're looking for obviously a new place to live. We're trying to find a new rental because we do rent. Um, and. <sighs> We figure if we start now, hopefully by um, when school starts, that maybe we'll be in a new place. It's really mainly for the schools. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I've had the shits this year of the school. I mean, I love, I love the job. I love the job. I love teaching. I love helping the kids and I love being there with them. I love being in the school. Um, but the kids, they're just wearing me down. Even the teacher I work with, she doesn't even want to teach next year. She's actually, her husband actually got offered a job in Georgia. And she's like, I'm out of here. If he gets it, she's like, we're packing up and we are out of here. Because that's just how bad it is. Like, And there's so many teachers leaving this year. Again, one year at the school I worked at alone, 17 teachers left. That's almost the entire school. Because there's only 20 five classrooms in my school and 17 teachers left so I don't know I'm just kind of a little stressed out plus this week is testing we have this Maryland Park testing um and we're not really allowed to talk about it um but all I have to say is that it's a joke the kids don't give two fucks about it it's draining it's strenuous like the kids have, now I, I've been testing with the kids. I'm pulled from my classroom, um, even though I'm a one-on-one -on -one for a child. I've been out of the classroom for the past three weeks. Um, no, two weeks, I lied, because next week will be the third week, or this week coming will be the third week. And so I've been out of the room. I haven't been able to um, sit with him, and he's got makeup work he has to do, but I just... I can't because I have to I'm his scribe so I have to write for him and everything my necklaces are all tangled up um so I haven't even been in the room because I have to read and scribe for the other kids who have IEPs during the park testing which I mean it is what it is I mean I don't mind helping out don't get me wrong and it's like in a way it's a blessing in disguise because I kind of get a break from the kids in my classroom um because even though I love them, it is a nice little break. So this week, what in the world is going on here? This is driving me crazy. I don't know how I did that. Um. So yeah, so next week is third grade testing. So, okay, there we go. All better. Um. So yeah, so next week is third grade testing. And it's now, so we finished the math. And now we're on, this week will be ELA, which is English Language Arts, which is going to suck because I have to write for some of the kids or type and I am not, excuse me, I am not a good typer. It is such a dreary, rainy day today. It sucks. We have, I've been up since super early this morning. Um, my son started karate. So I'm pretty tired. But yeah, these kids, this testing is bullshit. The teachers hate it. The kids hate it. Everybody hates it. Like, it's so stupid. Like, in half, like I said, the kids don't give a shit. They get an hour and a half. So the kids that I'm with, they get an hour and a half extended testing. And the kids in class only get an hour to do the test. And they break it up over a week period. So half the kids are just like boom they're done five minutes they're like i don't give a fuck about this test i even had one that's one student that's like, they're like i don't give a fuck i i don't care about this test what this test gotta do with me i ain't getting a grade for it so i don't care and that's like their attitude with it like they don't care the teachers think it's stupid like i think it's dumb you know because who cares what the great what the scores are gonna be because the kids don't give a shit 
they don't care. And it's like, you have to fight to keep them in the testing room alone. So there's like one person in the room that's a proctor and basically they like guard the door to make sure that they keep the kids, in. sorry, my shirt keeps riding up, um, to make sure they keep the kids in. And it's like, they don't, they're like, okay, I'm done. I want to leave. It's like, no, you can't leave. You have to stay here. And they're like, no, I don't want to stay here. I'm going to leave. And then one kid walked out the back door of the school. Like, because the one classroom we're in, um, we have, it's like a back door to the playgrounds. He just walked around the door. He said, mm -mm. he's like, screw this. He's like, I'm done my test. I'm going out to recess. And just walked out. And it's like, oh my God, but there's nothing we can do. It's just, ah, oh, it's so frustrating. It's like, we need to inconvenience these kids' parents. They're so worried about making the parents happy and conveniencing them that they need to be inconvenienced. And these kids just think they're so self-entitled to, and everything is owed to them. And that, they're, that they can do what they want because there's no consequences. And it's freaking bullshit. Like, one of the girls I was taking, I had to take to lunch detention last week or the week before and she straight out cussed the assistant principal and told her to take her ball headed ass somewhere else and to stop uh, stop following her she need the like that ball headed she and she said it right there in front of the principal she was like that ball headed bitch better stop following me god i ain't going to no detention she ain't gonna make me she need to stop following me we it was me the assistant principal and two other people trying to rally one girl up to take her to the lunch detention. But then guess what happened? The principal, principal didn't even do anything. She cussed the principal. She cussed the principal. She didn't care. They mind you, this is third grade, third grade, third grade, third grade. Oh my God, this is third grade. My son does not act like that. My son's in second grade. And I'll be damned if he did, cause I would whip his ass. Let me tell you something. Oh my God, it's so frustrating. So, testing has been even though you're not doing like a lot it's just draining and it's like by the time we even can get started like a half hour 45 minutes has passed and then you still have a whole hour and a half you have to sit with the kids and they finish the test it's like 12 questions and they have an hour and a half to take it some kids take 45 minutes and that's fine because they're actually trying to figure the questions out and that is fine. The other kids are just like, click, click. The screen didn't even read or just a click. Okay, done. I'm just like, oh my God. It's, this is ridiculous. It's a joke. I don't know why we have this stupid shit to, oh, it's just so ridiculous, so ridiculous. And then as I was saying, so last, weekend I had a show I did a live stream it was just a random pop-up live stream and I was getting ready for my event and I just figured hey I get online and chit chat with people but I did delete it because I feel like I saw it to my husband and he's like you know if you ever do a random pop-up live stream you know just make it special like for those who are on just make it special for them so um once it went live after you know what I mean? Well, like once the video posted after I went live, I deleted it because I said, you know what? Those were online. We had fun. We had, we chit chatted, whatever. And I deleted it because that was between us. So, um, I think maybe like if it's just a random, if it's not planned or anything, then, um, that's probably what I'll do because I feel like it's more special. You know what I mean? Like whatever. <laughs> I'm talking out my bubble. But yeah, so last weekend when I was at my event, um, I got home and my husband was like, yeah, so I signed Brayden up for karate. I'm like, oh, okay, you know. And we went Tuesday night, absolutely loved it. And so he goes three days a week. I don't have to go every single day, but it's it's pretty exhausting i mean you think you work all day you're testing all day you're running around like a chicken with his head cut off then you come home you get like 10 minutes well i get about 20 minutes peace and quiet before my son comes home and then um come home he's gotta change his clothes get a snack and then also karate and then by the time we get home cook dinner homework 
bath time i'm like done <laughs> like i am so so done so done so done um yeah and then today so this morning he had karate well we fucked up this morning because we thought his karate was at we thought the little dragons class which is like the small the young the younger group was at 10 30 and his class was after it we messed up because we were going to go to breakfast because our friends that we're actually going to ocean city with um they have his son in there so in the little dragons class so um because thursday night his class was first and then we just hung out with them and then Braden's class was next so um we thought that it was like that again this weekend because we didn't check the schedule like freaking idiots we didn't check the schedule um but yeah it, we messed up we were supposed to meet our friends at 9 30 for breakfast and then when we checked the schedule before we left my husband's like oh shit and we're like what he's like his class starts at 10 we're like oh already then so yeah so we had to hurry up and book it over to um to the karate school and it's like karate kickboxing and boxing that's what he loves about it he likes to spar because that's what he was doing thursday he was sparring and he had such a good time so there's more more stuff to do um but yeah so he had a good time which which i'm glad he likes it because i think i told you guys he had set bully again he's got another bully. every single year he's had a bully um I don't think in kindergarten he did, but first grade he did, and this year he did. He does, but he told me he says, "Mom, I kicked him in the balls," and I did not punish him for it. I'm like, "Hey, you were defending yourself," so um, he didn't get in trouble for that. But yeah, at least now he'll know how to defend himself if another instance is supposed, like if something is to come up, he'll learn how to defend himself and get more. Um, focus and hopefully that'll help him and stuff oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry um so yeah penis cake <laughs> that's like so random so yeah hey we're talking about karate boom penises <laughs> hey you tell i'm tired i'm so silly um so yeah penis cake it is due tuesday today is saturday um i will probably well, we're gonna go out tomorrow so probably tomorrow evening i'll probably bake the cake <sighs> let me show you i got this from amazon it was ten dollars <laughs> it's like this is the cake pan so i'm gonna put it on a put it on a baking sheet and uh bake this bad boy up it's got a lot of it's very girthy it's got a lot of girth um <laughs> feels so dirty talking about this but yeah so here's the pan it's a little silicone it was $9.99 and um so they wanted rainbows they wanted shooting out rainbows if you know what I mean like whoosh. so my husband said you know that Skittles commercial it, it's the band the band Skittles commercial so um I'm gonna do a surprise inside cake and um what i'm gonna do is so i'm gonna bake the cake I, I see i don't know if i should put it on top of another cake like bake like bake a square cake or a round cake and like have this sitting on top of it but um you guys remember that um band skittles commercial it was like the bride and the groom he's like oh my god and he's like oh yeah and then like when he you know what i mean it's like skittles and she's like you know trying to catch him so gross um i'm gonna print pictures of that and i'm gonna put that on the cake board and cover it with um packing tape and then put this on top of it but i don't know if i should put another cake underneath of it what do you guys think um but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make like hollow pieces in here and i'm gonna cut like a piece 
because I'm gonna do this rainbow like I'm gonna do blue green yellow orange red all the way to the top and then I'm, when the cake is baked I want to cut it in half and make like a trench and I'm gonna make holes where the balls are and that's why I think I need to do another cake and I'm gonna put skittles all lining up and then I'm gonna have skittles pouring out <gasps> oh my gosh but it's funny because I went to um, an adult store and um, I did a little bit of shopping there also for this cake um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do that with this. But I think I need like something else. Well, when I cover it too with fondant, I'm gonna put like veins and then cover it with fondant. Like I'll put the veins underneath and then I'll cover it with fondant so it looks like look all veiny and gross and stuff. Because yeah. Or, oh my goodness, I just had another idea. What if I took, I wonder if Skittles fits through here. It looks like Skittles would fit through it. What if I like laid this in the cake and put, filled this with Skittles and put it like out of the tip and um, like you could pour Skittles out of it. That would be cool. That would be cool. Oh, the ideas are boring. We'll have to make a video on this cake and see what I um, come up with. So yeah, so there's my cake pan. I'm a little nervous because I don't like baking with silicone. Me personally, I don't like baking with silicone um, cake pans, but we'll, we're gonna give it a go. And then um, up here, I did go to the, um, what is it called? The Lovecraft is where we went. And I did get um, this little cake mold. I like these. I don't know if you can tell how detailed they are they're actually pretty detailed so I want to do some kind I'm gonna use this as my um my um guide because I'm gonna make this part on the top um but I think about making some kind of cake pops and putting them in here and um, I also have these I bought these penis candy necklaces because I was thinking about laying it on the balls. I don't know. We'll see. But I got two of them, so it's uh it'll be it'll be a fun experience because I figure if I just did this, I would feel like I need something else to make. And maybe if I got Skittles, I can put the Skittles in those two and like make the cake pops and put skittles in the cake pops and then just put the chocolate over top of them you know we'll see we shall see so i need to get the cake baked first and then take it from there i guess um so yeah that'll be fun but i have um i just wanted to uh check in because i do have a whole bunch of videos why did I go a oh, whole bunch? Oh. <laughs> I do have a whole bunch of videos coming soon. I did a another woman with in-haul. And as much as I complain about them. And actually, if you guys remember in the one woman with in-haul, I got a red. I must be losing weight. And I say that because... Um, in the one haul, I bought this red t-shirt, and it has, like, just a little cutout, like, the little peekaboo shoulders, and it was short on me. Well, the other day, um, I wore it to work because it fit. Like, it was still a little short, and I still felt a little uncomfortable in it, but it covered, like, how I liked it. And as a matter of fact, I think I had these same capris on. But, um, I ordered, so I ordered another pair of the capris from one with them because they have become my favorite pair of capris, I ain't gonna lie. Um, and I did get some squirts. I don't know how that's, I used to love squirts. I have this one pair, I still have them. 
and I want to get back it. They were my favorite skirts, and they were just a pair of jean skirts, and I wore them all the time. Granted, I was smaller, but what I liked about them is that they covered my, like the top part was was um, bigger than the inside part, like the waist, but it kind of flared out, so it covered my jelly roll, and that's what I loved about it. So I did buy them a little on the big side because they're made out of cotton so they do shrink so if I do put them in the wash and I accidentally put them in a the dryer it's okay same thing with my shirts I ordered them big um but I can't wait I have one shirt that's like this it's like off the shoulder and it's got like um it's a ruffle with like it's a red white and blue one so I can wear it for Memorial Day and um it's got like a a pair is blue it's like a paisley print that's what I liked about it because I like paisley prints and um, it was red white and blue it's really pretty and then I got like the squirts are watermelon and let um the one squirts is watermelon and then the other ones are pineapples Hold on. sorry about that everybody just said um my uh, roomie decided to come down um well not decided she came down she doesn't like to be on camera so um, she wanted Brayden's help to clean the bathroom, which is fine because that's what he needs to do. Um, but I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, Woman Within. So I do have some videos coming, uh, oh gosh, coming up, but I don't know. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Women Within because I got this special coupon. Um, so everything that I ordered was 50% off. So, which was really cool. So, I actually got a really big order. I spent more than what I should, though. But isn't that what always happens? But if I don't like something, I'm going to send it back. This time. I promise. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, I did that. I have an order from Amazon. I ordered some tops from Amazon. But I think they're coming from China. So, I don't even know if they're going to fit. But they were like $4, $7. Like they were really cheap. But they were so cute. So I kind of hope they fit. I don't know. We'll hold my breath from that. And then I did a very small Rue 21. Because they actually had, there was a kimono that I wanted. It's a real long duster. Like I used to call them dusters. But I guess now they call them kimonos. But it's really long. And it's yellow. And I always, I wanted something yellow. So I figured in the summer I could wear it with a tank top and like some jean shorts or capris and I think I'd be cute. <laughs> but um, hopefully it's as cute as it is in person than it is online. And I ordered two pairs of sandals. Um, so I have that coming of course. I have my Ipsy bag coming. I also have a Wish order coming course I don't know when I'll be able to do that video because you know it all comes in bits and pieces and stuff but um I want to start planning cakes for the summertime so that way I can like upload everything and I'm just gonna use do it on my dummy cake so that way I can still make something put something together and make a video for you guys and then just be able to dispose of it you know what I mean so that way it's I have content for you guys and something that I want to do um, what else do I have coming I thought I had something else coming I don't think I do I think the wish is gonna take the longest but um but yeah so I do have some things coming up for you guys but it's like I said life right now is super hectic and even though we're we are actively looking we're casually looking but for a new place but you know you guys know how it is sorry I keep looking outside because what Brayden do you want me no. okay well I'm recording bud and you are in your skivvies well um I um I see you Brayden uh, what? I'm recording right now. I know. What um, do you want? I just wanted to say that I got it done and over with. Okay. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. <laughs> 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 I 
Bye. <laughs> He's such a ham. All right, guys. So, we'll wrap this video up. I just wanted to touch base with you guys and let you know, guys. Let everyone know what was up. Also, oh, and I'm going to Ocean City in like, Brandon, how many days to Ocean City? I think it's what, 12 days? 13 days? 14 days? I don't think it's 14. I think it's 12. Yeah, or 11. 12. 12 days. 12 days till no, our... Actually, um, 11 because today was one. 11 days to our vacation, so. So excited! Me too. I just feel like that I want to do backflip, but I can't. Wee! <laughs> Alright guys, so I am gonna wrap this video. Look how I just I am so silly. I'm so silly today. I need a nap, but it's like almost eight o'clock, which means I gotta start dinner because today is actually single de mayo. And we're gonna do what are we doing for dinner? Oh yeah, taco salad. Because I went to the store and I was pissed because I spent $37 on hardly anything and I was so mad about that but yeah so on that note let me go start making dinner and I will see you guys soon I promise I have videos coming I promise and I also might do a live stream with my husband because my husband has um you guys know those oysters um he sells so you like shuck the oyster and there's like pearls, like real pearls inside the oysters. Um, so he was trying to get his little business, his little hustle going. And he calls it Firehouse Pearls. There's a Facebook page. Please check it out. I will leave the link down below to my beloved hubby. Um, so yeah, it's Firehouse Pearls. And um, he wants to do a live stream where he shucks the pearls. And like we'll do giveaways and things like that on my channel and then hopefully that will support his uh, Facebook page and support his little business um, you know so maybe it'll just be like a really fun time so I'm hoping so okay I promise that's the last thing no more updates no more announcements Ow! I just cut my face all right I'm hyper I don't know what I oh, why I'm hyper and that's why I'm tired I need to drink more coffee when I got cakes and stuff to do because let me tell you, I not even gonna lie this domestic goddess has been slacking on the domestic business of my house so I need to probably do that tomorrow too I'm gonna actually get my roommate to help me because I do need some help and these floors need to be scrubbed and I need to figure out what to do with the Nerf arsenal in my living room. I just can't wait for summer so that way I can actually spend time with my friends. I can clean the house and get stuff organized. There's just so much to do. But, alright guys, be kind. Because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So be nice. And don't be a dick. And peace, love, and happiness to everyone. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.